the very proud head teacher of Dover Primary School. I'm the NEHT Regional Secretary for South Central England, on the Channel Islands and the Isle of Wight. What a shame it has come to this. What a shame that the island school leaders aren't doing what we should be doing. But this, this is leadership. What a shame that the government of Jersey has lost our goodwill and support. What a sad indictment of successive governments and state's employment boards that their response to an absolute crisis in recruitment is to cut pay. That is only up to us and our NEU colleagues who are standing up for education, who are standing up for our children and young people. who have lost a whole year's salary over their leadership careers compared to the cost of living. What a shame that school leaders' salaries have fallen behind the average earnings index for all public, for all public and private sectors in Jersey. Contrary to the inaccurate misinformation, propaganda, that said representatives and ministers publicly present, school leaders are worse off in real terms year after year after year. What a shame that our own government can't be accurate and truthful when it comes to the facts. What a shame that the public of Jersey on TV were recently told that our complete reward package includes a 16% contribution from the employer to our pensions. It does not. The contribution, Constable Jaya, is 10.8%. 10.8% locally, compared to 23.68% in the UK. Yeah. And they know this. It's available on their own websites. <laughs> RPI figures against salaries are again inaccurately represented by SEB. What a shame that our government, not all Wales ministries of truth or plenty, but the government of Jersey stoops to such lows as presenting inaccurate figures over and over again and posts inflammatory Facebook pages hoping to garner public support. Well, that backfired, didn't it? <laughs> and misrepresents its own school leaders instead of backing us to the hilt and in turn supporting our children and young people. Yeah. What a shame. What a shame that politicians who previously stood alongside us and championed us in this very square, on this very platform, are not the solution that we hoped for in, at the last election but are now part of the problem. What a shame. <laughs> Contrary to the government's spin, there is a recruitment crisis in schools. Yeah. 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 The NAHP are not going to lower ourselves to the spin in this respect. We are dealing in schools with the fact we are dealing with the impact of these facts on our children and young people. We have to stand up and address this challenge. Yes, most classes may have a teacher, but are our children learning from specialist teachers? Gone are the days when we would have 20 or 30 applicants to a primary school teaching job. We are now lucky to get one. What a shame for our young people, many of whom need the right person with the right skills, now more than ever. Yeah. 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 The of schools, 
locally and nationally is in a race to the bottom. Initial teacher training figures are pitifully short of targets nationwide. And of those who do qualify, a third will leave the profession within five years. Where then are our future school leaders coming from? Seb's response, let's cut wages. In a very competitive employment market, Jersey should be getting fully behind its key workers, its staff in schools, in health, in social care. What is an island community without these cornerstones of a society? But no, instead of making Jersey an irresistible option, we're being expected to do more and more for less and less and to be treated with contempt along the way. What a shame. employers in this way. What a shame parents and carers have had to, and businesses have had to be inconvenienced today. What a shame that our children aren't learning in our schools. For that we are sorry. But we're having to take this action as we have no alternative. We want to protect the education in Jersey. We want to save Jersey schools. State's Employment Board, we urge you to back, come back to the table, back your school leaders, and demonstrate that you back education. Thank you.